Type start. I can't do it. You can't do it. You mean you won't do it? I can't do it! Dennis Weaver stars as a man caught. You're fired! Bluffing it. Next. Welcome to this premiere presentation of Nabisco Showcase. In tonight's movie, we focus on a man whose guarded secret may spell the end of his career, family, and friends in the dramatic story, Bluffing It. Nabisco Showcase is brought to you by Nabisco. We make products that make friends. And now, act one of Bluffing It. Up and down Pleasant Street went Joe and his new yellow wagon. Soon Jack ran There's as many reasons as there are people like me. Oh, I suppose some people had parents who wouldn't or couldn't help them. Maybe their parents didn't speak English. Or they moved around, you know, changed schools a lot. I know if my turn was coming up to read aloud, I'd go to the bathroom, disrupt class, or pretend to sleep. Later on, it wasn't much harder. If the tests were multiple choice, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo would get me pretty far. Of course, cheating always helped a lot. And being a jock, they cut me a lot of slack. It wasn't hard to graduate. Although many schools are doing a lot about it now. I think I got past not for what I knew. Jack? But for how old I was. Jack? Why don't you take up where Daryl left off? Jack. Keep reading, Jack. Seems to me, Jack Dugan, that a boy who's missed all the school you have with all your pneumonias should take advantage of your health. If you want to sleep fine, just stay home next time. He's so stupid. seminars will begin Monday to help supervisors gain cooperation from the floor personnel when the layoffs begin. Now schedule a start a week from Monday. I don't think this was meant for me. A week from Monday. Hey, thanks for sharing. This is all our jobs are talking about. <laughs> That's yours, Jackie boy. You be getting calluses on your pinkies while the rest of us get calluses on our butts down in Canary. Hey, 
Open up to a nicer guy. Hey, Cal, wake up, will you? Hello, Cal, keep it moving. And you lay down any chance to get it. Hey, Jack, are your boys last any championship tonight? Ah, uh, Jack couldn't coach his way to win people back. <laughs> Whoa. Get back to work. Hey. Good luck. <laughs> I'll rush you to give him help. Jack's a loser. Hey, oh, man! Oh, don't stick to it! Get in there! Get him away from the goal! Hey, you caught it! Play the fight! Play the fight! You winger, get out there! You give 100%. Understand, you don't give 100%. You're not being honest. If you're not honest, we don't need your help, okay? Larry, change your mark. Rusty, sit down. Hey, you got that right. I've had 12 teams now. I've got 10 winners. Pride, my child, is one of the seven deadly sins. <laughs> yeah, we're so glad. Don't you fill up on that. Hey, Rusty. Hey, Hi, son. congratulations. Thanks. You met Joshua that little. By who? Sometimes I wonder if his playing is so important that he's going to feel beaten up after every game. Hey, you don't play, you don't win. If you don't win, you lose. Dugans don't lose. Dugans don't lose. We took them to the cleaners. Great. So take your hands to the cleaners. And tell Rusty, too, will you? Uh, Monica and Haley will be here any minute. Be nice to her friend Simon. He went to Harvard. Harvard? Oh, cripes. Why couldn't she just stay married to Pat? He was a good man. He was an alcoholic and a two-timing louse. Come on, two little faults. This country was just going to keep slipping further behind the Japanese and the Koreans until management started spending some money on modernization. You'll see, there'll come a time on the assembly line when cars, for example, are barely touched by human hands. Simon works at Synchrodyne. They make a lot of the parts that go into robotics. So what are you going to do with the human hands that used to build the cars, huh? Well, they'll retrain. Oh, yeah, sure, great. You. You take a 50-year-old drill press operator, been on the job for 15 years, what are you going to retrain him in? Jack. I read the paper. I know about uh, endemic unemployment. You don't have to go to Harvard to know about that. Dad, cool it. Okay, forget it. Sick of it. It's all you hear about anymore. Now, Rusty, on the other hand, he had a good night tonight. He had two assists. And if you'd skate a little harder, you'd add two goals. Well, Rusty's not going to have to worry about robots taking his job. A robot can't be a writer or a teacher. <laughs> Some of the teachers I had when I was in school, I thought they were robots. <laughs> now, Rusty, he just doesn't want to do any hard work, that's all. Teachers have the most important work there is, Dad, and sometimes the hardest. I was meaning he was too smart. 
Why do you always have to side with him? Because we both had to put up with you. Monica, your father's only teasing. And how come you always have to side with him? Whose side am I on? You are on Mummy's side, the best side. I'm gonna be on Grandpa's side. <laughs> Watch out. The layoffs start in a week. Anyone not given two weeks' notice is going to get paid the difference. Hey, why don't they just tell us exactly who is getting laid off? Yeah, I could have made my reservations down at the Canary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jack, why don't they listen to you? Hey, I'm in the same boat as you guys. Uh-uh. Some of us haven't been out looking for work in over ten years. We got family, you know? I know. I'll speak up again. We'll appreciate it. That's it. Bobby. Time to get to work, Cal. Oh, that's it. Just what it says. So why don't you show me how smart you are and explain it to me? I'll talk to Mr. Goldman. I can't afford to be out of work. Neither can anybody else. Well, I asked him to take me off the line. Let Come me take Hector's job. Hector's not coming back. You want to be a janitor? Well, I need to work. <laughs> okay, go find a broom. Yeah. And I thought they all had mailboxes reserved down welfare. You won't catch me push the broom, that's for sure. Me neither. Jack Dugan. Jack Dugan to the office. You better get to work, Pete. You're going to have to pull double now. Yeah, get mail, Jack. So, as production foreman, you'd uh, run the floor just like I do now. But instead of telling the men what to do, you just tell the machines and you uh, type it into the computer. One well, of the machines don't take an hour and ten for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't type. Jack, all this is is hunt and peck. A couple of words a minute. Yeah, I don't think that's the problem, is it, Jack? What do you mean? I mean, every time we tried to promote you, you turned us down, right? And you color-coded the line. When output went up by half, you said, no, 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 my place is with the man on the floor. Jack, there just aren't going to be that many men on the floor anymore. And you want me to run the thing that's going to throw them out? Welcome to the future. Yeah. They say the working man is losing jobs because we're not competitive. So to make us competitive, you get the machines in here to do the work for us. And we lose our jobs anyway. We get the short end coming and going. Your profits go up. Profits is what we're in business for. And I'll tell you this. Any job that's done by brawn and no brains is done better and cheaper by machines. Any one of those guys will take this job in a second. Well, you know that. Jack, here's a great opportunity for you. You must know that, too. Your training begins next week. Look through these. Get familiar with them. You'll see it. It's no big deal. I'm happier with this, Jack. I want this one so bad I can taste it. Then you'll learn. How? When I can't read a word of it. Same way we used to, honey. Come on, let's have a look. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. What's the guy? Oh, what's this? An A. Naturally. Uh -huh. Mr. Cohn wants me to submit uh, stuff to the Interschool magazine. Oh, that's wonderful. I don't suppose you have time to read it. Huh? Well, I'd love to, but right now I've, I've got to work on this. What? What is this? Uh, Pascal Coble User's Reference Manual? Are we getting a computer? No, the factory's putting in robotics and they have asked your father to run the whole thing. Wow! <laughs> That's great, Ted. What's so great about it? Robotics. It's, it's, it's like the future. You heard Simon. Oh, please. No, really. The, we have this computer in Mr. Stone's class and there's this program that simulates like workforce problems. I could help you with this. It's really cool. Dad, read this stuff. BDOS, error on X, bad sector, press escape. It sounds like asteroids. <laughs> Warning, 
Data exhausted. Fatal error, what do they do? Kill you if you make a mistake? Put it down, sir. Mr. Dugan, you've just exhausted your data. Now you die! I said put it down! Sorry. Well, he stuck the damn book in my face. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like the way I play sports. He never reads my homework, my stories, things I like. He loves you more than anything, Rusty. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Be honest. That's that's Dad's big thing. Be honest. If you're not honest, we don't want you. I am being honest. It's just that he's under a lot of pressure right now. He's always under a lot of pressure. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> Ever since I've known him. <laughs> Why did you marry him? What? No, really. Why? Jack Dugan? <laughs> he was the catch of the school. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Tall, handsome, letterman, funny guy. And he came after me. I wasn't used to that kind of attention. I was what you would call a late bloomer. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the question I used to ask myself was why he married me. I know why he married you. Thank you. When two entries conflict, the program will act on the one entered last. For example, if you entered R and L for right and left, then L will take effect and R will be ignored. Oh, wait a second. Wait, you, before you said R stood for row. Now, how do I know if it stands for row or for right? Uh, we're probably coming to that. You gotta just learn this page by page. Oh, page by page. No, I'm not stupid. Reorganized the whole assembly line. I increased their output 50% in one year. No wonder they want to promote me. Deserve it. Good. Now you can learn it at random. Can't learn it at all. Oh, you can, and you know it. Dugans don't lose, remember? There are 36 letters on the keyboard, and you have 10 days to figure them out. It's not the letters, it's the words. You learned the Bill of Rights in a weekend. You remember the Krebs acid cycle? You probably still do. Jack, there hasn't been anything you couldn't do when we worked on it together. Except read and write. Two little faults. <sighs> if I can just find the system. Everything's got a system. Great. We will find the system. Now go find page one. Go. 
it. What do you mean? I can't do it. You can't do it. You mean you won't do it. I can't do it. Jack, you are not a hero. You're not saving any of your men's jobs. All right. You're fired. You hear me? Hey, Jack's not going to do it. 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 Jack's not going to This evening's Nabisco Showcase presentation of Bluffing It is sponsored by Nabisco Brands. At Nabisco, we make products that make friends. Introducing four new crackers of such superb quality they could only be called American Classic Crackers. American Classic Crackers, an entirely new selection of crackers that is as special as getting together with family and friends. Each of superb quality, delicate texture, and exceptional taste. So come to our house. New American Classic Crackers. Quality that's welcome in any home. Oh, 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 who's that kid with the Oreo cookie? Huh? Who are you calling a kid? Eating all the luscious chocolate, licking all the creamy middles. One good twist, and I got him right where I want him. Dunkin' all the crunchy cookies like he did when he was little. My mama never let me eat them whole. Oh, it's hard to hide the kid inside with Lewis Gossip Jr. And O R E O. There's a great new feeling with Carefree Sugarless Gum. It's got more flavor than ever. And now, test proved chewing carefree after snacking actually helps fight cavities. I'll wear mine. So will I, with pride. It's the bicentennial emblem of the Constitution, free at food stores, courtesy of Nabisco. And it goes right here. We're yours during a celebration of citizenship. Come, my little apprentice, let's eat. Ah, Peter, do we ever cover steak with ketchup? No, Father, but it's hamburger. Ah, but hamburger is steak. It's chopped steak. So we use... A1 steak sauce. Right. And it's A1's herbs and spices that make hamburgers taste like... Steak burgers. Don't cover it. Discover it with A1. And we'll save the ketchup for the fries. Good. Ritz Bits Crackers. <laughs> Mini Ritz is unbelievable. <laughs> Delicious. Three sizes. Why are there three sizes? They did it for fun. <laughs> Small. Smaller. Very, very tiny. I need bigger hands. Buttery. Totally portable. New Ritz Bits. Every bit is good as a Ritz. Who's responsible for this, huh? Nabisco. Oh. Beautiful. Hey, we gotta get going. Hey, so early? I just got here. Yeah, it's a special meeting down at the plant. 
guess you really stirred things up. Hey, did you eat yet? Let me spring for breakfast. Tommy, breakfast right here, anything you want, so I'm springing. I know, over lightly and home fried. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he knows me. And hamburgers for lunch. <laughs> anything uh, in here today? Yeah, plenty, but nothing for me. How would you feel about driving a tanker again? I've got a brother who's got a company in Revere. I could put in a word for you. Well, I've had my fill of trucking, John, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Thanks for the offer. Hey, Pete, we gotta get going. Yeah, yeah, listen, hey, stuff your face. Look after him. See you later, Jack. So on, Jack. Hey, buddy. Hogan. You're a prince, Jack. Your eggs are coming. Take it easy, guys. I was wondering, maybe, could you give me a hand with this? Uh, my glasses are being repaired. Honey, I've got two pair of glasses because I'm too busy to be caught without them. I just left my glasses on the bus. Uh, my other pair's at home. Would you mind? Jack Dugan. One fifty South Walton. Well, uh, Johnny speaks well of you, but right now I'm long on drivers and short on runs. First, you'll have to go to a motor vehicle and pass your first class exam. And if after that, I got anything open, then we'll see. I, uh, I'm sorry I can't be more encouraging. Well, thanks anyway. All right, good luck. No luck all week, huh? Steve Doherty says they offered his dad the computer job at the factory. Pete? Yeah. And he's going to take it. <laughs> well, good for him. Why don't you let me take you down to Synchrodyne, Dad? Simon will show you around. We'll go for lunch. Come on. Be fun. Shipping and receiving? Oh, I don't know. Come on, Dad. Just give it a try. Come on, honey. Go with her. Come on. All right. OK? <laughs> Hey, aren't you going to have any dessert? I made your favorite chocolate cream pie. I don't think so, not tonight. Boy, he's really down, huh? It's a hard thing, a man his age out of work. Oh, I don't understand why he just didn't take the promotion. Your father's a man of honor, Rusty. He wouldn't turn on his friends. Friends like Pete Doherty? You're going to work full time at the hospital? 
They only need me three days a week. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay? Grampy, leave me about the snowy woods. Okay, sport. Here we go. Now, once upon a time, there was a man on horse and sled, and they got lost in the woods. And it was during this big blizzard, see? And it got very dark. That's not right, Grampy. Well, of course it is. You see, they got lost between the town here and the lake. Huh? That's not what it says. Mommy, Grampy's a reading a light. Talk to read a light. Honey. Grampy's being creative. He's just making up a new story from the old one. That's fun, too, isn't it? But I want the snowy woods. Come on, pumpkin. Grampy will reach you another time. You gotta go. Kiss him goodnight. <laughs> Bye, Grampy. Bye, Nana. Bye. See you tomorrow. He's watching the dark, Thank you. Thank you. I think it'd be really neat if you and Simon worked at the same place. Neat? Mm -hmm. So, why don't you fill out my application for me? You wouldn't want me to lounge it up in my handwriting. They'd think some chicken came along and danced across it. It's a good thing you're so cute. Adorable. I'm gonna find a men's room. I'll have a hamburger. Dad, this is a great seafood mm -hmm. restaurant. All you ever order is hamburgers. I like hamburgers. But there's more to eating out than a hamburger. I like hamburgers. <laughs> uh, we don't have hamburgers. Okay. Uh, I'll have a calamari salad, please. And I'll have the fisherman's platter. What are you having? The calamari salad. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll have that. All right, Dad, living dangerously. I never seen you eat squid before. Can't have my boy sick. I can take apart a car, watch, washer, you name it. I'm not stupid. Of course you're not. Then how come I feel like it 20 times a day? I can't even take a lousy shipping or receiving job because it's got computers. They'll think I'm an idiot. Nobody thinks that, Jack. Yeah, they would. They knew I couldn't read a menu. You think we'd keep any of our friends. You'd think they'd want Jack the dummy to coach their kids. My granddaughter can read. I can't. It's like I'm on a ladder and it's getting higher and higher and more and more shaky and, and it falls at work for God's sake and I'm on the floor. How long can I go on before somebody finds out why I can't get up off the floor? Oh, honey, lie down with me for a minute. Let's Teach me to read. I can't. Yeah, you can. You're a smart lady. Oh, Jack, we've tried. It doesn't work. We've Here. tried. Here. Don't just read it to me. Teach me. How? I've tried. You even tried night school and quit. You just won't memorize the words. I can't. Why? You memorize everything else. Why can't you just memorize this? I can't. Don't you understand? I don't know what it says. Here. It's Chinese. Go ahead. Memorize it. Memorize it. You just can't memorize it. You've got to know the system. Well, teach me the system, damn it. I don't know the system. You do. You just don't want to. I do. Teach me to write. Stop it, Jack. You're hurting. Here. 
Here. Teach me where to put my name. Where do I put Jack Dugan on this damn form? Stop it! Bluffing it. Tonight's special presentation of Nabisco Showcase will resume shortly. Peanuts! Get your fresh roasted peanuts! Peanuts! Mom, Harry, wait for your sister! You Remember getting platter's nuts fresh from the roaster? Oh, the ones with Mr. Peanut! Just one whiff and you couldn't resist them. Well, today there's a snack that's just as irresistible. Planters Honey Roasted Nuts. They're sweet enough to please and just salty enough to tease. Planters Honey Roasted Nuts. Mr. Peanut does it again. You like the better cheddars? Oh, sure. I could see myself snacking on these every day. They're light, crispy. There must be real cheddar in there. Is there real cheese in there? Come on, you can tell me. Baked right in. I can taste it. Hey, I knew there was real cheese in these better cheddars. I knew that there was. Better cheddars. With real cheddar cheese baked right in, their light, crispy taste will trap you. Rats, I hate it when that happens. Try better cheddars in bacon, new low salt, and new onion flavor, too. Have you ever shared peppermint lifesavers with another girl? Before I met you? After. No. Before? Well, that doesn't count. So I wasn't the first. But you're the best. You bet your lifesavers. Almost Home introduces apple walnut raisin and banana walnut cookies made with crisp apples, sun-ripened raisins, golden bananas, and fresh walnuts. Almost Home. You can almost taste the recipe. Tonight's Nabisco Showcase presentation, Bluffing It, will continue in a moment. Tomorrow, the New York Giants, the Chicago Bears, world champions collide on the season premiere of Monday Night Football. Then, volleyball, anyone? The thrills and spills continue out of the class. Tomorrow, after football. these shores, but these mighty rocks stand fast, big and strong. Well, that's the kind of strength folks have been counting on for over a hundred years with Great Western. You see, Great Western's built on a solid base of over 28 billion dollars in assets and backed by the security of federal insurance. So if you want a bank that'll make your money grow safely, come to Great Western Bank. We'll be standing big and strong, no matter how the tides change. Jim Hill knows the score, Sunday after Eyewitness News at 11. You took Class A exam, didn't you? Yes. I'm preparing for the test myself. Uh, could I have your copy? Mm hmm? Hope you so. Thanks a lot. Hey, Coach. Got my wheels. Hey, congratulations. Coach of the year! Hey! Did you get it? 
Oh, I was sitting there with a couple of corrected exams and trying to memorize them. Billy Slattery shows up and sees me. I felt like an idiot. I left. I'm sure he didn't know what you were doing. Well, I did. I don't know. Maybe it means that I, I shouldn't be driving a truck again. Message from my old man. He didn't talk to you when he was alive. Why should he start now? Uh, how about getting me a can of chicken stock? The chicken stock's on the left. Dad! Dad! You are not going to believe me. I found a job for you. Oh, come on. No, really, at school. There's a coaching position available. Baseball. But you got to go down tomorrow. They might fill it. Jack, that's terrific. You get paid for doing what you love. Oh, I don't know. Dad, come on. It's baseball. Jack. Jack. Come on, Dad. It's baseball. All right. All right. All right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Believe me, there was a time when coaches didn't have to double as teachers. But with all the cutbacks, we've had to make compromises. Yeah, I understand. Well, you're more understanding than I. We've gone from the best record in the school league, across the board, to one of the worst. You're up there, aren't you? Yeah, 52, 53. Two years. It's impressive. Had my battles. Mr. Dugan. Could you teach shop? Shop? <laughs> I can take apart and put together any machine you put in front of me. Make anything you want. I'm Mr. Shop. Ever since Mr. White went into the hospital, we've been doubling up shop classes. Huh? What exactly happened between you and the steel plant? They got rid of the shop part. C. Fuel is pulled into the combustion chamber, or D. None of the above. So after you finish the last question, pass your papers to the right and I'll correct them while you inspect the engines. Congratulations. But explain something. You went to Rusty's school, you came home with a class one license. What did I miss? Well, it was just uh, a dumb idea to think I could teach in a school. It was just a dumb idea. What was so dumb? Well, because if you want to coach, you got to teach a class. Teaching means books. Books make me look stupid. So all of a sudden, trucking looked very good. It'll work out. I didn't want it to be like this with my family. Jack. Your father was an SOB, forgive me, long before he ever drove a truck. Driving didn't make him that No? Day. No. Hey, you're on the road alone, away from your family. <laughs> I wanted my kids to know me. Well, your children are grown and they know you. No, they don't. And I was here. They don't get along anyway, so what the heck. I'll drive. Dad, so what happened at school? Well, son, they, uh, they wanted me to, to teach shop. I don't, I'm just not cut out for that. What? What do you mean? Of course you are. The kids are all grown, so I'm going on the road. I'm going to drive tankers again. Dad, the school's perfect. It's not perfect. I wanted to coach, but to think I could teach, that's stupid. Why? Why because, can't you? Because, Rusty, damn it, I don't have to answer to you. It's just stupid, OK? Everything I do you think is stupid. The Detroit 1300 transmission is set up five by four. When transmission one is in first gear. Honey. Huh? Read me some of his stories. Which one? Oh, that one, uh, White Noise, that's a good one. White Noise by Russell Dugan. White Noise. Noise you don't hear, 
But noise that's always there. Noise you don't hear, but it's always there. That is so good. I bet his teacher didn't even get that. Why don't you talk to him about his I poem? I told him that I like him. Hope I mean like that? That shows how much you think about them. I can't get into it that deep, honey. You'd find out. Come on, read. Like a summer fan whirring all day. Like the TV caught between stations. Like the conversations between husbands and wives. And fathers and sons. Yeah. Read another one. Read uh, that new one that he sent to the school magazine. Pyrrhic victory? Yeah. What's that, Pyrrhic victory? No. <laughs> he won the game, but lost the season. An offensive tackle clipped him in the last quarter. His leg was broken, his heart was broken, but his spirit was not broken. Thirty years later, the goalposts are steel. The footballs are men. He is clipped from behind by an offensive manager, but he doesn't drop the ball. His job is broken. His heart is broken. But his spirit is not broken. But who will win the game? This evening's Nabisco Showcase, starring Dennis Weaver, will be right back. Introducing Quackers, little ducks with a lot of flavor. So now, all the cheddar cheese flavor of a cheddar cheese puff is in a little duck. And all the sour cream and onion flavor of a sour cream and onion chip is also in a little duck. New flavor-coated Quackers in sour cream and onion, crispy original and cheddar. A lot of flavor in a little duck. Lots of cereals say they're good for you, but who can you really believe? You can believe a leading consumer magazine, they don't sell cereal. And when they ranked 59 of the most popular cold cereals on nutrition, Nabisco shredded wheat topped the ratings because it was high in fiber and protein, low in fat, and had no added sugar or salt. No wonder it came in first, second, and third. You always knew shredded wheat was good for you, you just didn't know how good. He's still watching you. Stop, he'll think I'm interested. Here he comes. <gasps> Give me those fast. New mint crystal breath savers, now with cooling mint crystals for fresh breath fast. He's nice. But he's leaving with me. New breath savers, they work fast. Fruit Newtons are the cookies with delicious real fruit inside. We love blueberries. <laughs> Strawberry. New gray. And fig. But sorry. We have no banana today. We thins, something like a cracker butt, more what? like a snack, just for you snackers, crunchy delight, kind of like a cracker butt with more snack bite. Oh, they're thin and square and they're light as air and they're honest to goodness lip smackers, just for you snackers, something like a cracker butt, more like a snack. Try our low, soft, nutty and cheese flavors too. Mr. Big Stuff. Introducing Oreo Big Stuff. Who do you think you are? Oreo Big Stuff. Oreo Big Stuff. Who do you think you are? New Oreo Big Stuff. More chocolate, more cream. You're big and satisfying, taking you with me all the time. Oreo Big Stuff. Looks like you're gonna go far. Oreo Big Stuff. Tuesday. Just call me Ray. How about Brother Ray? What's your name? Sister Mona. Hallelujah! Who's the boss, then? A lot of cool people use cocaine. It's my treat. Can Mike just say no on a highly acclaimed episode of Growing Pains? 
<laughs> oh gosh, here's the maps I drew. Uh, you got to be careful at the West Greenfield exit, honey, because all those exits are Greenfield. Just so long as you drew it big and simple, you got how many left, how many rights, and how many lights. I'm okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, do you see this sign? It says safety cover must be in place yeah. before driving. I got it. Okay. And this one. It says, it says flammable. Honey, I can read the pictures. <laughs> Believe me, they're not for foreigners, they're for guys like me. Uh, here's another one, all those safety cover signs. Got it? You got your coffee? Yeah. And your lunchbox? Margaret. I appreciate all your help, but believe it or not, I actually can survive without you. Sorry. Feels real good. <laughs> My old man must be laughing in his grave. I'm sure.
停车了。Accident. Hurry! Greenfield Police, Sergeant Rourke. Oh, God. There's been an accident on Route 2. My tanker and a car. I got a full load. It could blow. Where on Route 2? The exit. Greenfield exit. Which Greenfield exit? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted the... The West Greenfield, but it wasn't the West Greenfield exit, I don't think. Mister, look around. Where are you? Uh, I... I don't know. I don't know. Are there any signs? Street sign? Uh, yeah. What does it say? I, I don't know what it says. I just, I can't read. I don't know how to read. Help me, please. I'm trying. Is there anything you can identify? Building, billboard, anything. I'm on a one-way street. Does that help? I'm on a one-way street. We got a code one on two. 10-4-G-14. Mister, we got a car approaching the scene of the accident. Just hang on. This Nabisco Showcase presentation of Bluffing It will return shortly. Chocolate chip cookies from Almost Home. The chocolate chips, the brown sugar, mmm, just like mine. Hey, leave room for my wild boar chili surprise. Let's have another. Two. Almost home. You can almost taste the recipe. Almost home introduces apple walnut raisin and banana walnut cookies made with crisp apples, sun-ripened raisins, golden bananas, and fresh walnuts. Almost home. You can almost taste the recipe. Come, my little apprentice. Let's eat. Ah, Peter, do we ever cover steak with ketchup? No, Father, but it's hamburger. Ah, but hamburger is steak. It's chopped steak, so we use... A1 steak sauce. Right, and it's A1's herbs and spices that make hamburgers taste like... Steak burgers. Don't cover it. Discover it with A1. And we'll save the ketchup for the fries. Good. Have you ever shared peppermint lifesavers with another girl? Before I met you? After. No. Before? Well, that doesn't count. So I wasn't the first. But you're the best. You bet your lifesavers. Hey, it's raining again. Del Monte Sierra Trail Mix. Strange name. Strange. It makes no mention of how delicious those fruits and nuts are. Yeah, let's call it Del Monte's Magnificent Morsels of Mouthwatering Munchies Mix. Strange, Strange name. In Del Monte Fruit Snacks, taste reigns supreme. Ritz Bits Crackers. <laughs> Mini Ritz is unbelievable. <laughs> Delicious. Three sizes. Why are there three sizes? They did it for fun. <laughs> Small. Smaller. Very, very tiny. I need bigger hands. Buttery. Totally portable. New Ritz Bits. Every bit is good as a Ritz. Who's responsible for this, huh? Nabisco. Oh. On March 31st, 1987... Oh, I like that. Ah! 
Dave and Maddie made moonlighting history. What are you doing here? I was getting lucky. On September 15th, history repeats itself on Moonlighting. Then... Oliver North is my boss. He was a man I admired. Vaughn Hall gets personal in her first time interview. I remember giving my opening speech and I, and I was scared. I was shaking. The Barbara Walters Summer Special after Moonlighting. Tuesday. Tonight's Nabisco Showcase presentation, Bluffing It, will continue in a moment. Terry Gar lets Michael Keaton bring down the house and bring up the kids. Mr. Mom, Thursday. An ABC News brief brought to you by Hefty Bags. Now from Washington, Gene Meserve. Good evening. Pope John Paul celebrated Mass today for 300,000 people in San Antonio. This evening, he reasserted his faith in celibacy, telling young seminarians it will mean an enhancement of your life. Soviet Foreign Minister Edward Shevardnadze arrived in Washington today for talks with Secretary of State Schultz. Shevardnadze brought a letter from Soviet leader Gorbachev for President Reagan, but he declined to reveal its contents. Now this. The Sensuals were in some mess. Till they got a cinch sack. Hefty, hefty cinch sack. It's a cinch to claw. Said Sarah. A cinch to lift, said Sid. A cinch to carry. Said sis. Hefty, hefty cinch sack. Oscar-winning director Mervyn Leroy is dead at the age of 86. His credits include The Wizard of Oz and Mr. Roberts. He also introduced Ronald and Nancy Reagan. That's News Brief. More news later on The Weekend Report. The Colgate Plus toothbrush meets old square head. <laughs> at first it was hard being the odd-looking toothbrush. But it's my dual bristle design and diamond-shaped head that helps me clean teeth and massage gums so well. And so comfortably, no square head could beat that. So, my neighbor moved out and Peggy moved in. Colgate Plus, the odd-looking, super-cleaning, comfy-feeling toothbrush. Something smart has happened to the new Pacific Bell Yellow Pages. Our house is a very, very, very fine house with two cats in the yard. Now you can find anything for your house by letting our new one-page index lead you to a whole room full of choices. Now everything is easy because of you. The brand new Pacific Bell Smart Yellow Pages. It's smarter to do it by the book. Oscar-winning director Mervyn Leroy dies. Story at 11. Turn the light up, please. It is so depressing in here. Right. Jack, it's a gorgeous, beautiful day outside. Let's let some light in, huh? Jack, accidents happen. My God, no one was hurt, but it's over. Would you like me to read to you? Why do you look at me like that? Because sometimes, Margaret, you just make me feel like half a man. Where are you going? Out. No, no, that's fine. 
That's the whole purpose of the evaluation. Now I know there are things we can do to help you. Yeah. Jack, there are tens of millions of people like you who can't read, but who we could help. I don't need help. I mean, I, I need teaching, but I don't need help. I'm not stupid. I'm not ignorant. I'm not illiterate. Jack, you're not stupid. You're not ignorant. But you are illiterate. You don't know how to read and write. And that's all illiterate means. You just don't have a skill I have. Exactly. You can run a factory. I can't, because I never learned how. Yeah, okay. But if I wanted to learn, you could teach me, right? Right, yeah. And hey, I, I want to learn to read and write. I had a few classes, they just didn't work out. Well, classes work for some, not for others. In our program, we don't have classes. We have tutors you work with privately. And if it doesn't work out with one, we just find you another one. You see those two women out there? Yeah. Those are two of our tutors waiting for students. Really? Sure. I bet we could find you a tutor by the end of the week. Interesting job prospects? Huh. Then it would be interesting. Hmm. What about the coaching job, Dad? I thought we kicked that around, Rusty. Hey. What's going on here? You're like a bunch of wiggly heads in the backseat of a car. Hmm? A job's come up at Synchrodyne. I thought we kicked that one around. Well, it's not a, it's not shipping and receiving, it's custodial engineer. What's that, a janitor? Simon says that it could lead to another position. It's a janitor. Dad, it is just something to get you out of the house until something else comes up. Simon knows that. What's it pay? Fantastic. It starts at about $8 an hour. You think they'd work it so I could, um, I could check out other things? Simon said it'll be flexible. Dad, you could be baseball coach at school. Dad, you, you could teach shop. Why do you want to be a janitor? Damn it, Rusty, you don't know half of what you're talking about, so just stop looking ignorant. Jack. Rusty, I'm sorry. Tell Harvard boy I'll take it. Okay. Jack fella, I didn't see you there. Three o'clock. Sure it's okay to take off? Work's done. The time's yours. Thank you. Hello? Hi, Jack. It's great to see you. Nice to see you. Jack, this is Pamela Carmichael. Mm -hmm. Pam's one of our tutors. Oh. But yours is waiting in my office. Come on in. I'll introduce mm -hmm. you. Jack, this is Cal. Cal tells me you used to work together at the factory. Welcome, Jack. Now you two will be working together downstairs in the community room. Okay, let's write a story. What the hell do you think you're going to teach me? Hmm? <laughs> the biggest crock of bull I've come across in a long time. Stupider than I thought. I must be an idiot. Come here, I want to show you. You just wrote a story. What are you doing here, Cal? Why aren't you at work? Two sees I work nights. Why don't you spend your days doing this? You must be really strapped for cash. I get paid nothing. Nothing? <laughs> oh, I see you. <laughs> You're pretty rich, huh? Jack. 
Six years ago, I knew less about this reading and writing than you do. Then I found myself a tutor who changed all of that. So yeah, I feel rich. Rich enough to pay back someone else what my tutor gave me. Sit down. Please. Follow my finger. What the hell do you think you're gonna teach me? This is the biggest crock of bull I've come across in a long time. Now that is writing. You wrote it. You chose the words. You know the words. You just don't know how the letters, these symbols, sound. And you don't know the system. There's a system of putting these symbols together, but that's what you're gonna learn. And that is reading and writing. I know I'm just a janitor, but I can teach you to read and write. That's why you're here, isn't it? P. 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 Are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I I'm, did not work early. Uh, oh, once a week. Uh, honey, uh, I'm going to try again to learn this, this reading stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh that would make us so happy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Pete. <Pee. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm learning phonics. Yeah. You know, I always thought that, that C sounded like in city. Okay. I didn't know it could be cup or church. Oh. Well, show me your books. Uh, let me help you. No, no. No. I'm going to try along. Okay? Okay. This is a sight word, pal, and it's mine. When you can read the word on the card, I'll give it to you. When you have the whole pile, well, then you've really accomplished something, okay? Yeah. The. Very good. Is. Isn't. That was a trick one. Isn't. How long is this going to take? Depends on you. If you work hard and learn fast, you might be able to read something as simple as a, a menu in a couple of months. It could take three years to read the Boston Globe. Three years? Crying out loud, in three years I'll be 55 years old. Well, you can quit and in three years you'll still be 55, but you won't be reading the Globe. <laughs> How long uh, would it take to read a, a, a children's book, you know, if I wanted to? Mm. It varies a lot. Could take two months, could take six. On. <laughs> now, what would you say if I told you that I made chocolate and cream pie for dessert? Oh, I would say, let's eat. <laughs> Rusty! <laughs> Where's Monica? We're not waiting. Haley left her workbook. I found it under some books in the den. I'll give it to her. Here. Hi. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Monica. Where's Haley? She's at Pat's tonight. We might like to see her once in a while, too, you know. Well, I'm sorry. It's only been a week. I mean, we are her grandparents. Okay, Mom. Monica. I just think it would be nice if we could all be together once in a while. That's all. Okay? I left something. Margaret. Like Stop. Now, just stop it. Stop what? Thank you, but I, I don't need your covering for me anymore. What's going on here? I don't know, but it's bizarre. Give it to me. I said give it to me! Now, sit down, everybody. Sit down. What is 
that? It's Haley's workbook. Haley doesn't have a workbook. She's in kindergarten. Now, just be quiet for a minute, will you? This workbook is, is mine. <laughs> Dad! Dad. <laughs> Rusty, it's true. I'm, I'm learning to read. What are you saying? What, do you want me to spell it out for you? Huh? I can't spell it out for you because I can't read. And I can't write. Is he serious? I'm dead serious. It's so funny, it's nothing to laugh at. <laughs> You can't read or write? You got it. You went to school? Yeah. And I can't read. I can't believe this. Well, start believing. That's ridiculous. I've seen you in the newspaper lots of times. What were you doing staring at a newspaper? Well, what did you want me to look stupid? Stupid? All this time you've been lying to us? No, I wasn't lying. Yes, you were lying. Both of you. Rose. Honey. What about all those times you, you ran to Haley? She was right. You weren't reading them right. She knew. That's right, she did. How can you not know how to read? You, you graduated high school. Well, honey, somewhere along the line, I made a mistake. Or somebody did. I, I just didn't learn, OK? By the time I knew I wasn't going to get it, I was in the sixth or seventh grade. Well, what smart alley kid is going to say, Hey, teacher, I can't read. I thought I was stupider than everybody else. But I also thought I was smarter because I was getting away with it. But I wasn't. I mean, the, the teachers knew. Some of them, anyway. They'd pat my parents on the back and say, It's okay. He'll learn a trade. I guess they thought I was retarded or something. They kept passing me. Or oh, maybe I fooled a few of them. Or maybe it was because I was uh, a good kid that showed up every day. Or maybe because I was, was real social. Or maybe because I was a jock and the coaches wanted me. But definitely because your mother was always there, at every hurdle, every corner, helping me to get away with it. So they graduate soon. It's, it's over. It's, it's too late. But it's not over. You know, it's not over till it's over. And okay, so now I'm learning to read. And especially getting back to Haley, because she's the only one that I haven't had a chance to cheat yet. Not completely, anyway. And if, if nothing else, before this thing is over, I'm going to learn to read my granddaughter a story. Can you understand that? This evening's Nabisco Showcase special presentation will be back shortly. We stands something like a crackle butt, more what? like a snack. Just for you snackers, crunchy delight. Kind of like a crackle butt with more snack bite. Oh, they're thin and square and they're light as air and they're honest to goodness lip smackers. Just for you snackers, something like a crackle butt, more like a snack. Try our low soft, nutty, and cheese flavors, too.
Del Monte ask three people with a taste for something exciting, which drink has the blend of flavors they've been looking for? Del Monte, apple cherry. Del Monte, classic raspberry. Del Monte, country strawberry. Del Monte Fruit Blends. People with a taste for excitement are discovering that a drink with a blend of fruits can mean more taste. Fruit Blends. More fruit, more taste. Feeling good about yourself. Feeling carefree. Much more flavor than ever before. It's more flavor carefree. Carefree gum now is more flavor. It's like no other sugar free. Fruit Newtons are the cookies with delicious real fruit inside. Real apple, blueberry, <laughs> strawberry, new grape, and fig. But sorry, we have no banana today. Lots of cereals say they're good for you, but who can you really believe? You can believe a leading consumer magazine. They don't sell cereal. And when they ranked 59 of the most popular cold cereals on nutrition, Nabisco shredded wheat topped the ratings because it was high in fiber and protein, low in fat, and had no added sugar or salt. No wonder it came in first, second, and third. You always knew shredded wheat was good for you. You just didn't know how good. Introducing Quackers, little ducks with a lot of flavor. So now, all the cheddar cheese flavor of a cheddar cheese puff is in a little duck. And all the sour cream and onion flavor of a sour cream and onion chip is also in a little duck. New flavor-coated Quackers in sour cream and onion, crispy original and cheddar. A lot of flavor in a little duck. Nine years. He gave me some money. Of moving experiences. Moves to Friday. So I'm blind, so what? 2020 on Friday, beginning September 18th. Tonight's Nabisco Showcase presentation, Bluffing It, will continue in a moment. In a fast-moving, high-tech world... Come on, Doctor, this ain't no rehearsal. There's still one man... We're gonna load up and fire everything we can to help you. ...who does it the old-fashioned way. All right, we got ourselves a live one. Premiering two weeks from tonight, Dennis Weaver is Buck James. I am divorced. I've been divorced for eight years. This is the first house I have owned on my own. It's not easy. The buck stops with me, but I accept that. Mary Ann Bixby wasn't alone when she got her home loan. She had Home Savings of America. The day that the wallpaper went up in the hall, my daughter said, Mom, this house sure looks like a female owns it. <laughs> and I said, that's fine. I'm Paul Dandridge, coming up on Eyewitness News at 11. At least one person is dead tonight after a fight between rival gangs at a park in Lincoln Heights. We'll update Pope John Paul's activities. I'll be talking with a Buddhist leader about what he wants to discuss in a meeting that he'll have with the Pope. Los Angeles singers and musicians are getting ready to perform for the Papal Mass in L.A. We'll see festivals celebrating Mexican Day and tomorrow's weather and more at 11. Stay with us. We'll see you then. Calvin Klein, Obsession for Men. Oh, the pleasures of the flesh. Exclusively at Robinson's. I'm Christina Ferrara. And I'm Steve Edwards. This week, AM Los Angeles will go live to cover the Pope's arrival in Los Angeles. We'll take you behind the scenes at Dodger Stadium and the Coliseum. At 9 o'clock on AM. The Bears and the Giants in the season premiere of Monday Night Football. Doesn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Breathe in. To kill. Uh, Hey, I can't read that. Then don't get cocky on me. The words in that pile are memory words, but the rest of reading isn't. 
And that's what screws us up. We think we got such good memories. There are more than a million words out there. You can't remember them all. So you just remember the sounds, then say the sounds, and you know the word. Well, who reads like that? Well, it's, it's like working on the line. You think you'd step out at first, but after a while, it's second nature. Speaking of the line, uh, did you know when I was your boss? So how come you're, uh, you're still sweeping floors if you're so smart and can read so good? Because I go to school nights, and if I was out of work, I'd probably have to quit. School? I thought you were done. No, I'm going to go to college, getting off the floors of life and going through the doors of life. <laughs> and you still haven't read that last word. You know the sound. Break it down. Mm, no. Mock, ing, mocking, mocking, b -ird. bird, mocking bird, mocking bird, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to kill a mocking bird, yeah. Hey, I, I saw that movie. It was with a big guy, Peck, Gregory Peck, huh? Yep. So I just, uh, I just read that to kill a mocking bird. That's. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's very good. Just don't get cocky on me. You only read the title. Rusty's car won't start. You might give him a hand. Hmm. You know, we never fix this air conditioner. Why don't we do that now? I'll find the manual and read it to you. What are you doing? I'm looking for the manual so we can fix the air conditioner. You know, like we used to. Do you want me to learn to read or not? I just miss helping you. Well, I don't want help. I'm not helpless. Not anymore. Get in and crank it over a few times. All right. Hold it, hold it. Problems? Uh, it ran great back from the beach, but I'm having a little trouble starting it again. Want oh, some help? Well, thanks. Hey, you don't have to be a book scholar to be a good grease monkey. Well, I don't want to be a grease monkey. Talking about me. Yeah, well, uh, I want to give it 100%, you know? Be honest with myself. I'll fix it, okay? Hey, Monica. Hey. You're sight for sore eyes. <laughs> Where's my little girl? She's at her dad's. I'll bring her by tomorrow, I promise. Yeah, I can use a friendly smile around here. Dad, why don't we do something fun tomorrow? We used to do fun things together. You feel it too, huh? Remember we used to go to the Cape every Sunday? <laughs> you want to go to the Cape? Hey, we'll go to the Cape. Really? Yeah. My brother likes some beach. We'll see if there's any fun left in this family. All right. <laughs> Rusty, 
want to toss the ball? I'm going to go for a walk. Want some company? No. Rusty's been childish. Ever since Dad told him he'd lied about reading, he's acting like he's something different. It is something different. You've seen him when he's in his books. Hey, come on. Can you imagine what it would be like to... I don't know, to be, to be blind and have somebody say to you, soon you will be able to see it. Here are the coming attractions. There's a whole new life waiting for him. Think he'll still want the old one? Well, of course. Why? You're gone. He and Rusty don't talk. He doesn't need me anymore. There's a whole new life out there. What does he want with the old one? He loves you. You know that. Relax. Try again. I can't. I'm telling you, I can't. I've lost it. You studying too hard? No. I don't know. Is uh, everything okay at home? <laughs> Remember we talked about the messier things about reading? Well, it sounds like you're going to play all the positions. Like what? Another big one I went through. What? I grew up in Jamaica Plain. Ever been there? Not intentionally, no. Yeah, exactly. When well, not only did I think I was a dummy because I couldn't read, but I also thought I was a dummy because I was black. And I lived in the ghetto. I mean, who but a dummy would live in such a place, right? I was a triple dummy. Then along came Aunt Margie Brooks. She raised me from a teenager. And she would say, Cal, you're too smart, and black is too good to be throwing your life away. Now, I didn't buy that. I mean, black was bad. Why else would they put us in the ghetto, right? But she kept at it. You're too smart, Cal. Black's too good. Make something of yourself. So then she found me this reading course, and she put me in it. And she was right. I am too smart, and black is too good. So, uh, I know you don't think so. Oh, now, wait a second. Hey, will you get out of my story? So, anyway, Margie Brooks just about saved my life. But, uh, I haven't seen her in years, cause... Well, it's crazy. She was used to telling me what to do, and I was starting to have ideas of my own. It was like you could, uh, you could feel this shift of power in the family. He fought over everything. It's the same thing is happening to me. She won't give me room to breathe. She says I'm drifting away, and all I'm trying to do is to stand on my own two feet. It's my boy that's drifting away. Jack, reading is power. And it frightens people because there is nothing that was ever written down that you can't know. Now, they're used to the Jack who needs them to make a move, but you're gaining the freedom and the power to control your own destiny. All I was trying to do was to read Dr. Seuss to my granddaughter. <laughs> Dr. Seuss is power too, my friend. So why don't you write a four or five line story on it for the next lesson? <laughs> How can I write a four or five line story? I can't even read four or five words. Okay, forget tonight. Let's say we go get something to eat. My treat. You treat, I'll eat. Order me anything I like at all. Okay, hamburgers. I don't like hamburgers. I am sick of hamburgers. <laughs> you too? For 25 years, I ordered hamburgers. <laughs> 25 years, that's nothing. For 45 years, 
That's all I've ordered is hamburgers. Ham you know how many hamburgers you could eat in 45 years? You think you can see enough to order me something else? Okay. Salad. Chef salad. Uh, I don't know. What's in it? Uh, let Lettuce, lettuce, to my tomatoes, lettuce and tomatoes, <laughs> and uh, cu cu cucumbers, cu cucumbers, cucumbers, huh? Yeah, <laughs> sounds delicious. You eat it, I'll have a hamburger. <laughs> Hey, guy, how you doing? Hey, Pete. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm in a reading program. Oh, you teach your cow how to read. Hey, you're okay, Jack. Yeah, I've, uh, I've learned a lot from Jack. Oh. Well, hey, uh, gotta run. Uh, see you around, Jack. Come on, son. I haven't learned a damn thing. Huh. I'm sorry. I need a break from all this. In a moment, the gripping conclusion of bluffing it. Tonight's special premiere movie presentation of Nabisco Showcase. Want some peanuts? Yeah. Remember fresh roasted peanuts? One whiff and you knew how good they taste. They're still warm. If you think that fresh taste is a thing of the past, you should try Planters Dry Roasted Peanuts. They're so fresh, so flavorful. They taste like they're peanuts. fresh from the roaster. Fresh roasted peanuts. Planters Nuts. That old time goodness lives on. He's still watching you. Stop, he'll think I'm interested. Here he comes. <gasps> Give me those fast. New mid crystal breath savers. Now with cooling mid crystals for fresh breath fast. He's nice, but he's leaving with me. New breath savers. They work fast. I'll wear mine. So will I, with pride. It's the bicentennial emblem of the Constitution. Free at food stores, courtesy of Nabisco. And it goes right here. Wear yours during a celebration of citizenship. Introducing four new crackers of such superb quality they could only be called American Classic Crackers. American Classic Crackers, an entirely new selection of crackers that is as special as getting together with family and friends. Each of superb quality, delicate texture, and exceptional taste. So come to our house. New American Classic Crackers, quality that's welcome in any home. Calling the kid. Eating all the luscious chocolate, licking all the creamy middles. One good twist, and I got him right where I want him. Dunking all the crunchy cookies like he did when he was little. My mama never let me eat them whole. Oh, it's hard to hide the kid inside with Lewis Gossip Jr. And O R E O. Yes, story. 
Listen, not, not now, Pumpkin. No, Grampy's busy. Please, you don't look busy. I said not now. I'm watching TV. You. Hey, let me watch the television show, please. You haven't been to a lesson in over a week. You're not being very nice to anyone. You're just sitting around being ugly. Nobody wanted me to learn to read. Now nobody is happy that I quit. I don't think that anybody gives a damn whether you learn to read or not. We just don't like you sitting around being ugly. Well, your mother gives a damn. She is impossible as soon as I open the first book. And your brother... You know why? Sure. Yeah. Because they, they didn't want to share the power with me. Power? Who gave you that trip? Your tutor? Yeah, and he was right. You're afraid I'll be able to run my own life for once. Hey, maybe she is. Maybe you won't need her anymore. Exactly. She say that? She doesn't have to. I you don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I do, and maybe I don't. All I know is that what is happening to this family is not just about reading. Hey, don't talk to me about family. I've been married for 26 years. How long were you? Huh? Nice. Very nice. There you go again. Pushing someone away any time they get close to... to anything. Uh, it's got to be outside, or you wouldn't have me wear a sweater. Uh, I mean, unless it's air-conditioned. Where are we going? Would you just let me take you, please? <laughs> come on. Uh, yeah, come on, where? <laughs> I knew we were coming here. <laughs> I did. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, Jack, we spent a lot of time in this park. Yeah, good times. And I know exactly where we are. <laughs> Jack, look! I remember that tree. <laughs> uh, our tree. Oh, gee. I remember that this is the place you used to come to study U.S. history, right? <laughs> I remember that time we stayed here until you were able to recite the chapter on the Bill of Rights. Mm -hmm. And it got dark. <laughs> yeah, that's how I remember this tree. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I kind of remember it as, uh, as the place where I knew I was, was falling in love with you.
still feel that way much. I do. It's just in the last couple of months. I hope I can see you again sometime. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Boy, are you romantic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you drinking? Rusty! Hey, what do you come off drinking? Relax. I'll replace it. Hey, don't get smart with me. Let me talk to him. No. Again. I can handle this. Go upstairs, please. Jack, I... I'm gonna handle it. Okay? Take those off. Okay, smart Alec. You got something against me? Come on, give it to me, man to man. No more of this old lady moving around the house. What are you, child? What are you? You always want to know what I am. Am I an old lady? Am I a girl? Am I a wimp? What are you, huh? You're nothing but a phony. Who do you think you're talking to? What happened? I said, what happened to you? I had a fight. I don't even know what for. Who with? They were ragging on you. Calling you a nigger lover. I said it was a lie. I was gonna hit him. Then they said you were, you were teaching some black guy to read. Then I knew it was a lie, but what was I supposed to say? That's a lie because my dad can't read? So I hit him anyway. This Darty's kid talking? Yeah. He saw you. And you told him you were teaching some guy to read, you phony. Well, that was... That was a misunderstanding. Oh, sure. All my life, you've been on me to be a jock, to be something I'm not. You wanted me to be a phony because you're the biggest phony of them all. You never give a damn about anything I really wanted. That is not true. It is true. Sports was it. If I didn't have headgear or a helmet, forget it. You never had time for anything else. I'm too busy. Not now. Later. What were you so busy doing all that time? You mean you haven't figured it out yet? Oh, have you just been waiting for me to say it? Yes. Say it. Well, I was so busy trying to hide from you, I, I couldn't do anything else, okay? I couldn't read your stories, your homework, your report cards, okay? Sports, yeah, that, that was the only place where I, th I thought I could teach you something, okay? Oh, I was a phony. You think it felt good? It felt lousy. All my life, I've been feeling inside. What you've been feeling since you found out about it. Well, it stinks. Doesn't it? You're still a phony. You don't even have the guts to tell those guys the truth. That a black man's teaching you. Hey, that, that black man is who's teaching me to read your stories. That black man is who's teaching me what phony is and what phony isn't. And maybe I don't have it all yet. But I'm getting it. Okay, Rusty, you scored your points. You're way up on me, okay? But now it's time to dry the eyes and straighten up. You hear? Good. Stranger, a long time no see. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Jack. How's things on the dark side of town? Okay. He tells us you've been uh, teaching Cal to read. Yeah, why do you want to do a thing like that for? He's better off ignorant, Jack. Not knowing what he's missing. Teach that guy to read, he'd be down at the government getting every hand out he can. <laughs> <laughs> you guys done? Cal's as good a man as anybody in this room. A lot better than some. Oh, Christ, Jack's got soft on the nigger. If you'd shut your mouth half as much as you open it, you'd only sound half as ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> sit, down. sit down. Hey, where do you come off? 
Just because you're teaching this guy ABCs don't give you the right to I'm not to teaching anybody anything. I couldn't teach a third grader to read because three months ago, I couldn't read a word of English. I can no way. Or anything else. Yeah. Cal taught me. Cal taught me. Not one word. And you guys never even knew. Cal knew. So now who's dumb? Hmm? Come on, you could do some reading. What about the inspection sheets you filled out? Yeah. yeah. Filled out. Remember my symbols? What'd you call them? Hieroglyphics? Uh-huh. That's why I color-coded the line. What about all those memos? Well, you smart guys, you read them for me. I bluffed you every minute. Oh. I want to tell you something, Pete. I wanted that computer job so bad I could taste it. But I couldn't run a computer any more than I could run across water. So don't, don't tell me that a man is better off ignorant, black or white. When a man can't read, everybody gets cheated. Himself, his family, his friends, people he doesn't even know. So, I'm sorry for deceiving you. Hey, Dugan. I always thought you were a real dumb mick for passing up that job. It's good to know you're not so dumb, after all. Jack, how's about some lunch? On me. You had a hamburger? I thought you hate hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, but the menu said it was a, a, a ground beef patty with crisp lettuce and juicy tomatoes. I can order anything I want. <laughs> and I chose that hamburger. <laughs> and it was the best <laughs> damn hamburger I ever ate. <laughs> hey, I wrote that story you wanted. Only it's, it's, it's not really a story. Uh, no, no, I, I want to read it to you. It's, uh, well, it's the first thing I've ever really written, so. <laughs> it's a letter. Dear Margie Brooks. See, I didn't know if she'd married or not. I am Cal Michaels' student. Cal is teaching me to read and write. If you had not told Cal that he was too smart and that black was too good, then two men, not one, would still be unable to read and write. Thank you for helping Cal. Now I have independence and control over my destiny and control over my destiny. Cal is a good man. You should see him now. Thank you very much. Signed, Jack Dugan. He gives his her, her, harness, <laughs> harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only 
other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark, and deep. But I have pro... Um, promises. <laughs> promises. I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. The movie you've just seen is a dramatized account, but the story of a person who can't read is all too real. The Department of Labor says nearly 15 million employed Americans can't read or write well enough to cope in today's fast-moving age. Project Literacy U.S. plus the joint public service campaign of ABC and PBS is focusing on the critical issue of literacy and the workforce. Volunteers, teachers, businesses are helping adults learn. We simply can't afford an illiterate America. If you can help someone else, we need you. If you need reading help, there's someone that can help you. Please call the toll-free literacy hotline, 1-800-228-8813. for joining us for this premiere movie presentation of Nabisco Showcase. It is our sincere hope that tonight's drama will encourage those still bluffing it to seek help. Please join Nabisco in supporting Project Literacy U.S. and help us close the book on illiteracy. Police say at least one person is dead after a fight tonight between rival gangs during a festival at Plaza de la Raza Park in Lincoln Heights. And producer-director Mervyn Leroy, who gave us such classics as The Wizard of Oz, is dead. Enthusiastic crowds brave sweltering heat to welcome Pope John Paul to San Antonio. 300,000 worshippers celebrated Mass in an open field. And preparations are moving quickly for his arrival in Los Angeles on Tuesday morning. Next, on Eyewitness News. This is Jed Duval for market openings, overseas economics reports, and the first business news every morning. Watch ABC's World News This Morning's business report before Good Morning America. This is Charles Gibson. And I'm Kathleen Sullivan. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, Henry Kissinger on the possibility of a Reagan-Gorbachev summit. Also Beverly D'Angelo, Terry Gar, and Gene Hackman. Tomorrow on Good Morning America. Also tomorrow, get set for an evening of thrills and spills on a special presentation of Head of a Class. Then, it's a season premiere of ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. The last two Super Bowl champions meet when the New York Giants battle the Chicago Bears. Coverage begins with a pregame special live at 8.30 Eastern, Monday on ABC Sports. Watch the weekend report tonight on most of these ABC stations. I've been after the missus to call these crispy, crunchy fish sticks crispy, crunchy fillet sticks. Why not? The fillet is the best part of the fish. And it's the only part the missus ever uses. Hmm. She won't put her picture on the box, neither. She's a fine-looking woman. Mrs. Paul's crispy, crunchy fish sticks, made from fillets and nothing but fillets. If it's not Mrs. Paul's, throw it back. One word distinguishes the American Express card from the others. Member. And membership has its privileges. I left my prescription medicine at home. Don't worry. Global Assist can help. Thank you. Oh, honey, it's...